us a little bit about this character. That, that he's an EMT. He uh, has a, a, has his eye on somebody. Well, uh, in the at the end of the first season, I show up at the hospital and I'm just gabbing, killing time, and then I end up asking Zoe out, and uh, she says no, very very strongly, and I just off my shoulder, um, and then they bring me back in the second season, and it seems that I uh, I'm persistent in my pursuits of her affection. And uh, that goes on throughout the season, and I can't really give away what happens, but I, I stay, I keep the battle going. And I think I might wear her down eventually. I don't know, though. But the character's good. I'm just an EMT, and um, I think I've been through it all, and, and I'm a little laid back and rock and rollish, maybe. Is that the look? Hippie EMT, maybe? I don't know. Did, who, did you look at anybody for inspiration? Um... And anybody for inspiration? That's a good question. Um, you put me on the spot. I, I think I wanted to, him to be like a, like he's not necessarily a grizzled veteran, but I think that he's kind of seen it all and he's a little unaffected, but he enjoys it. So I don't really know who my inspiration. I'm gonna have to think of that for the next time I get asked sure. questions. Sure. That's, That's a good question, though. Excellent. You stumped me. Good. Good. Well. Um, uh, perhaps uh, you could. Um, I, I, now you stumped me because I had, I had a follow up to that in my brain. Oh, uh, what, what's it been like working with this ensemble? It is um, really, really amazing. I know everyone says that they're like, this is the best cast and crew in the world. But I mean, it starts from Edie, and I think her personality and the way she is on set makes it so that everyone else is just that same. You know, everyone's really kind and friendly and supportive and and talented. I mean, obviously. Um, and it makes it that everyone else that comes in, like the directors and the guest stars, and the, it starts up at the top with the, you know, the producers, too. So it's a dream. It's a dream job. And uh, I couldn't be happier, you know. For me, it's the first kind of the biggest thing I've done so far. So, well, Peter, Peter was a little late, and uh, you had a little shout-out to him there. <laughs> he kind of, I mean, it's called Nurse Jackie, but, you know, Peter kind of, I think he's on the impression that, no, he's amazing. <laughs> Um, I think he was super busy, and he still made it, which is awesome. And he's fantastic, and uh, you know, it's Twilight and stuff, too. So he gets away with that stuff. If I had Twilight, I'd show up. I wouldn't even be here yet. I'd be just getting here now. It's not dark enough yet for you to be here. He's awesome, though. So I don't really have anything bad to say about him. Well, thanks for talking to LAist. Thank you. Thank you.